be so quick to play the victim card when we could be discussing accountability. In this week's episode, I'll break it down to conversation around Tyreek Hill's recent police encounter. It is time that we stop coddling the title of celebrities and stop saying this is what it is to be black in America and start owning up to our mistake. Let's talk about the real issue. The real issue is not the police. The real issue is we do not want to course correct when we see something wrong. What's going on, y'all, man? On this week's episode of the Broken Traditions Podcast, we are going to discuss the conversation around Tyreek Hill police encounter on uh, Sunday, I think it was September 8th, right before the game they had, right? So let me give you guys a background who Tyreek Hill is in case you guys don't know who Tyreek Hill is. Tyreek Hill is an NFL superstar, right? One of the best NFL wide receivers in the game, plays for the Miami Dolphins, and on his way to the game, on his way to the game in Miami, in front of Hard Rock Stadium, Tyreek Hill was seen speeding on the body cam footage of the cops. So the cops pull up to Tyreek Hill and the cops uh, knock on the window. Tyreek Hill get um, upset about them knocking on the window. Then after that, since he started with the escalation of him being upset of them knocking on the window, so it escalated way far out where it was it shouldn't have gone to to be in my opinion Tariq hill is one person right he's not where all black people are or what black people go through very unique situation but the conversation is this will happen to all black men in america that's what some people are trying to go to that conversation is very dangerous the platform that these conversations are is very irresponsible and we gotta have a real nuanced conversation about what really happened because these people that's on these sports shows, that's on Fox Sports 1, that's on ESPN, that's saying this after seeing the body cam footage of Tyreek Hill doing what he did and still saying the same thing, that's problematic. Those people want to play the victim. And I also, matter of fact, I'm not going to say they want to play the victim. Those people are hired to play the victim because there's no way you've seen that body cam footage and you had that reaction. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to start with some of the reactions that we've seen on Fox Sports 1 and on ESPN on how they felt about these things, right? So we're going to share two clips, one from um, Get Up and one from The Facility, right? So Get Up is Mike Greenberg show on ESPN and The Facility is um, the show with Shady McCoy, Emilio Acho, and some other athletes. I'm not sure their names is not coming to my head right now. I want you to hear the tone of how they speak about what happened with um, Tyreek Hill. Then I wanna play clips from perhaps, I guess you could say alternative media from podcast shows on YouTube, such as It Is What It Is with Cameron and Mace and Nightcap with Chad Johnson and Shannon Sharp. It's two different conversations. So when you're on TV, you have to put this narrative out there. But when you're on the internet and this is a show produced by you and conversations are had by you, you can have a different tone of conversation. So first, let's start with what's going on on ESPN and Fox Plus One. We're going to start with the facility first, right? So let's get to this clip from the, from the facility. And as always, I'll put links in the description so you guys watching this or listening to this, you can guys can see this thing in full entirety, but I just want you to listen to what this is. So this is from the facility first. And for those who are watching it, you're going to see still shots. I'm not going to try to use uh, photo, I mean, full videos, because clearly you do something like that. Um, you might get hit with a copyright strike. So this right here seems to work for me, but let's go. Shady, I want to ask you first. You played with Tyreek Hill, if I am not mistaken. Yes. You won a From Super Bowl yeah. with Tyreek Hill. Obviously, you know Tyreek <clears throat> Hill well. Your teammate, your brother, amongst others. Shady, what's your reaction to the body cam footage? This is terrible, right? And I'm a good friend of Tyreek Hill. And I'm so mad it happened. But on the other side, I am kind of glad it did happen. You know why? Because you get to see what it feels like to be a black man in America, though, right? The difference is this person, this young man that's getting detained like this <clears throat> is a superstar athlete. So he's going to continue to have his life. Because with somebody else, they might not have had their life. They might not have had a chance to go to the Dolphins game. They might have got shot. The problem with this is the way they're handling him, you'd have thought he robbed a bank, he did a murder, he did attempted murder, he did something. For a, a speeding ticket, you get all this? This is crazy. And, and we want the police to protect and serve. Is that like protecting? Is that like serving? No. 
So the problem is when you see something like this, it's gonna go viral because who the person is. And I want people to see, because this is common in our society. This is super common. And now everybody, I don't care what age, what race, you know this is wrong. And when you see this, this thing, if he wasn't Tyreek Hill, it could have gotten way more serious. So you seen that, you heard that, right? If it wasn't Tyreek Hill, it could have got way more serious. He says, this is what it is to be black in America. Now, <laughs> I don't know about you, right? Um, superstar NFL athletes is not the common black man's plight. <laughs> it's not. Um, driving down in Miami, doing whatever he was doing, right? He was going pretty fast on the body cam footage in the McLaren. Most black men are not driving McLarens. Let's stop pretending this is about being black in America. This is about personal responsibility and this is about entitlement because of the actions that Tyreek Hill had with that police officer. And I'm going to share that with you guys later to give you, because I want the conversation to be about the conversation around Tyreek Hill, not about the police encounters. But I'm going to share it with you guys later if you guys have not seen it. For you to see, you saw this video and well, your reaction is, this is what it is to be black in America. That is not the case. Now, I have not driven cars as nice as McLaren's, but I drove a few BMWs, a few Range Rovers, um, a few um, Mercedes. You know, I've, I've driven some what seem to be high-end cars. Um, I'm not driving in a what it seems to be a construction zone or perhaps a zone where police is trying to conduct traffic to go a certain direction. I'm not speeding in those cars just for the sake of doing it. Then when I get pulled over by the police, I'm acting like they the issue. I'm not doing that. Most black men are not doing that. Most black men, especially in the age, especially being married, because Tyreek Hill is married. That's another thing too. Most black men don't act like that. But when you do act like that and you do get that response, that's not what it is to be black in America. What that is, is to be Tyreek Hill in that situation. All black people do not go through that. I mean, I give you a perfect example of myself. I was doing damn near double the speed limit one time in North Carolina. No, try and get to this hotel that's in this one hotel town in the middle of the night in North Carolina. And this is like when I had my identity and when the cop pulled me over, I was like, man, it's 11 o'clock at night. There's nobody else on this road except for me and this cop. I'm doing 90 and a 50. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm doing 90 and a 50 in a Nissan Altima with out-of-state plates. I'm cooked. I told the cop, I said, listen, I'm trying to get to my hotel. I'm going to the Hampton Inn. So he knew I wasn't lying because there's only one hotel in the town. He was like, oh, you're going to the Hampton Inn? I said, yeah. I just got the flight. I show my my uh, my flight information. I said, I'm just trying to get home. I'm trying to get to the hotel. He was like, oh, okay. You know, I get it. Try and get there. Nobody on the road. Completely understandable. You got out of state, you know, tags. He is, you see your flight. All right, have a good day. There was no back and forth. There was no back and forth. He just let me go because he understand that I'm being real with him. I wasn't being short with him. I was being direct with him. It was a man-to-man -man conversation. It wasn't what Tyreek Hill did. So this is not what it is to be a black man in America. You know what I'm saying? It's not what that is. But I get it. I think Fox Sports want Shady McCoy to play a part. I think ESPN want men to play a part. That's the issue. That's the conversation I'm noticing around this. But let's continue on with another clip from ESPN with Dominique Foxworth and uh, Damian Woody on Get Up. Yeah, I mean, it's impossible for many of us to remove the context from this conversation of like the racial history in America. And I mean, the reason why Colin Kaepernick was kneeling because of the relation with with police and black men in particular. But I often think about who like when we're having these conversations, who are there for? Who is it for? Like, I don't need to like bring that up because black people know. <laughs> That's the scary part. And the what if, he's, if, if it wasn't Tyreek is the thing that I think stands out in this because it reminds you that 
There's no more obvious place than outside of the Dolphin Stadium, a black man with lots of muscles, a gold chain, and a Ferrari. He's probably someone that you, sh- you guys should think twice about treating this way. All right, so <laughs> two things, right? This is why Kyla Kaepernick was kneeling. Kyla Kaepernick was not kneeling. Well, I'm going to say this, right? I'm going I'm to go out on a limb. I'm going to say Kyla Kaepernick was not kneeling for uh, superstar NFL athletes to drive past the police in a in a zone where you could tell that traffic is being monitored by police. He wasn't kneeling for those people or that person, right? Colin Kaepernick, if he was kneeling, he was kneeling for the day-to-day man that's probably getting harassed by police for whatever reason. That's different than, oh, let me speed down um, right here in front of the cops in a McLaren. So that's different. That's not what, I'm going to go on and let me say that. Maybe Dominique Foxworth have a different relationship with Colin Kaepernick um, protests than I do, but I don't think that Colin Kaepernick was doing that because of that. That's one thing. Second thing, right? This is just my opinion, right? This is just real rap Ron giving his opinion. You should think twice (laughs) if you see a black man near the stadium driving that fast, you should think twice of pulling him over because he's in a Ferrari or McLaren, whatever, right? He's in a a high-end Italian sports car. So you should think twice, because he might be somebody. No, how about you be respectful, drive like everybody else, and be a part of, you're not above the law because you play for a team. You're not above the law. And like I said, this is part of that entitlement that some people have when they get a certain status or a certain amount of money. This is that entitlement. And Dominique Foxworth just co-signed the entitlement. Oh, if you see a black man in an Italian sports car going X amount of speed limit, you should just let him go. All these other athletes that were speeding recently that literally killed people in speeding accidents, or oh, those people should have gotten let go too? You, Dominique Foxworth is so articulate and say these, I guess, so profound things, but it really doesn't mean nothing. You should have let him go because who he is and where he's at. But God forbid this man would have lost control, right? Lost control, hit somebody, killed somebody because of the speed he's going, or crash into a car. I mean, we talked about that other. I mean, there was another wide receiver who crashed into a woman's car. Her car caught on fire. He hit her so hard, her RAV4 caught on fire, killing her and her pet. So these are the same folks driving this fast, doing the same thing. But we should think twice because we are near a a sports facility. Let's go to Dominic, um, Damian Woody on this situation. I think a lot of black folks can really understand what, how Tyreek Hill feels in that moment. Um, We've all, I think most, you know, most black folks have had incidences where, you know, you've, you've been uncomfortable in those type of situations. I think the thing that stands out to me in this, in that situation is like how ego how ego in that situation can really inflame everything that's going on. I want to um, stop right there real quick. How ego could inflame everything that's going on. It's ironic he says that because ego is what started it. The ego was Tyreek Hill saying that, don't bang on my window. Don't bang on my window. Just give me the ticket, man. I got to go. That was the ego. The ego was, I am this... NFL superstar athletes. I'm in front of this stadium. I'm driving this Italian sports car. You should know who I am. Give me my ticket so I could go. As opposed to, I'm sorry, officer. My bad. Yeah, I was speedy. You, yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. I didn't realize it. I'm just trying to get to the game. That's what it could have been. But you started the conversation with, don't bang on my window. Don't bang on my window. Don't bang on my window. Let's continue on. Because, Dominic, you talked about police jobs. And, and listen, I don't want under, to underestimate how hard it is to be a police officer. There's so many things that they have to deal with that I know I wouldn't be able to, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to deal with it. Right. But in that situation, it's your job, first and foremost, to de-escalate the situation. I think Tyreek Tyree Hill's 
maybe he maybe he was a little bit aggressive. In I guess Damien would have he can't go too deep into the woods. Maybe he was a little bit aggressive. Let me tip my let me tip my toe into that part of the water. Maybe he was a little bit aggressive. <laughs> All right. In the way he was talking initially. But I think ultimately, as, as a police officer, it's your job in this situation to say, you know what? I'm literally stopped. It's a traffic violation. How do, like, how do you go from a simple traffic violation to basically pulling a man out of his car, handcuffing him face down on the pavement, then forcibly, you know, when the man is telling you, like, listen, I just had knee surgery, and you're still, like, forcibly, you know, being aggressive to that man? Like, none of that is necessary. I agree with that part. That's not that wasn't necessary, right? The cop did go way overboard, way overboard in that situation. But I just wanted to play those two clips because that was the that was the tone around linear TV. That was the tone around Fox Sports, ESPN, CBS Sports, NBC Sports. Them saying that this is so uncomfortable. Can't believe Tyreek Hill had to go through this. If you see a black man in an Italian car, you should just let him go. You know who he is. Not everybody know who everybody is. <laughs> you got to understand that. Not everybody know who everybody is. You see this black man. This black man is trying to just get to his job. <laughs> Yo, this is not what it is to be black in America. Let's stop saying that. Let's stop painting this broad brush on a situation. This is what it is to be Tyreek Hill on September 8th going to work. That's what that is. Tariq Hill thought he could drive his Italian sports car through residential traffic and not get had no re no repercussions. And when he get pulled over, he felt like, man, just get my tickets, so I get out of here. I don't care what y'all got to say. Y'all know that's what it was. But instead of saying that, instead of being real, y'all want to play this victim. Y'all want to play the victim card. And to me, the best way to have this conversation is what people on social media did that has shows to me, in my opinion, as big as Get Up, as big as the facility. And that's Cameron and Mace, it is what it is, and Nightcap with Chad Ochocinco and Shannon Sharp. Those men said, yeah, Tyreek Hill, you came with the wrong energy. You came with the wrong energy. We talk about it time and time again, what it is to be black in America. And when you are black in America, you have to work a certain way. You have to move a certain way. And this is not even just being black in America. This is standard protocol when you're getting pulled over by the police. When you're getting pulled over by the police. Matter of fact, before we get into the Cam and Mace uh, conversation, I want to get into the, uh, the body cam footage of... Tyreek Hill. So I want to give you guys a, a, a real understanding on how poorly he conducted himself, right? It's not being black in America. This is being Tyreek Hill on September 8th in Miami. That's what this is. This is a Tyreek Hill situation, not being black in America situation. All right. So before we get into this video, if you guys like this kind of content, please consider following Broken Traditions wherever you find Broken Traditions at. Greatly appreciate y'all. All right. So for you guys who listen to the audio, uh, please forgive me because you're not going to hear some of the stuff. And when it does come on, it's loud as hell in your headphones. If you listen to it on the headphones. So um, right here, you see the body cam footage. You see the cones up. So like I said, this is some people say it's a construction zone. I don't think it's a construction zone. I think this is just uh, cones put up to guide traffic because it's a game, right? This is game day. So I'm pretty sure that Hard Rock Stadium is a crowded area. Miami's already a crowded area. So I'm pretty sure that this is a crowded area. So they have to control traffic in a certain manner, right? So you can see from the body cam footage of this police officer how fast Tyreek Kill is going compared to the other cars. It was he stood out. Not to mention the car. So boom, Tyreek Kill zoomed past the cop. The cop is now coming up. The cop is now going through traffic, trying to <laughs> catch up to Tyreek Hill. Finally catches up to Tyreek Hill. Tyreek Hill notices the cop. He has his window down. 
The cop telling him to pull over. He said, What's your right. thing? Go forward. He pulls over. Right. So now Tyreek Hill started with his window down, pulled his window back up. <laughs> he put his window back up, right? He put his window back up. And um, this is the encounter with Tyreek Hill and the police officer after he put his window back up. Mind you, this is a tinted window, black car, black tents. So you can't really see inside the car. Hey, don't knock on my window like that, man. Don't knock on Why my don't you have your seatbelt on? Don't knock on my window Why like that. Why don't you have your seatbelt on? Don't knock on my window like that, though. No. Like what? Don't knock on my window like that. Why you have it up? Don't knock on my window like that. Why you have it up? I have to knock to let you know I'm here. Don't knock that way you can window. lower it and talk Just to you. Just get my ticket, bro, so I can go. I'm going to be late, gang. So the police officer knocked on the window. He said, don't knock on my window like that. He continuously said, don't knock on my window like that. The police officer says very calmly, I have to knock on the window so you know that I'm here. And why is your window up? Then Tyreek Hill said, all right, whatever. Just give me my ticket and I got to go. I'm going to be late. Tyreek Hill started off with this energy. Don't knock on my window like that. Put the window up. I mean, come on. There's so many other ways that this could have been played. So many other ways. But let's continue on. Do what you got to do. What? What? Keep it down. Hey. Keep your window down. All right. I don't know if you guys can see that or not with the reflection, but I'm I'm used to looking through tents because of the kind of work I used to do. And Tyreek, the, the, the police officer told Tyreek Hill to keep the window down, right? Certain protocol is the police officer need to have a vision on the person to make sure the person not doing something. So in case something happens, the police officer could get back to, to just for the the peace of mind and the safety you want the police officer needed to see your body right Tariq Hill see other police officers pull up to the scene pull the window up and then put his seatbelt on then he put his seatbelt on so the police officer asked why your seatbelt is off he put his window up put the seatbelt on so now it looked like he got a seatbelt on a lot of people now pointing that out. I've noticed that. He put his seatbelt on, but let's continue on. Hey, keep your window down. Don't tell me what keep your window down. I'm going to get you out of the car. As a matter of fact, get out of the car. So Tariq Hill put his window up, cracked it, said, you can't tell me what to do. Why? Who's escalating this? Who's escalating this, this this whole situation from the beginning to him speeding in an area where it's cones to him being just disrespectful to the police officer, right? Then you put your window back up. Why are you putting a police officer in that situation? Why are you putting yourself in that situation? And a matter of fact, I ask one more other question: Why are you put your teammates in that situation? Because, um, what's my man? Calais Campbell came to the scene and John Lou Smith came to the scene and I believe Calais Campbell also got detained. So these actions is what put those other men in this situation. Those actions, not this police officer was overly aggressive, which he was, which he was overly aggressive. Let's be clear. But your actions put that, those men, those police officers, everybody in that situation. That's what happened. We could talk about a hundred different ways that you could have did this to, for this to be better. You a man with children and a wife in a career and you're moving like this, thinking that you're above the law because of your position with the Miami Dolphins. You think you could talk to this police officer this way. You think you could keep your, your window up with tinted windows. You know how many things is probably going through a police officer head at that time? That 
yo, this man got all these things going on in this car. He already given me this type of trouble. Now I got to worry about if he's doing something else with the windows up. I mean, we could be real. There's a lot of situations where police officers gotten shot because somebody had too much of a dark tent and they couldn't tell what was going on behind the glass. That's not uncommon. That's not uncommon at all. But now seeing that video and hearing what those men had to say after seeing that video, you know what I'm saying? Dominique Foxworth saying that, oh man, you just bought a stadium. You should just let him go. Yeah, perhaps you could have, but also perhaps we got to talk about all the people that literally died by the hands of NFL players who've been speeding. So those people should have got let and go to. Then we got a uh, Shady McCoy. This is what it is to be a black man in America. No, this is what it is to be Tyreek Hill in Miami. That's what this is. This is what it is to be Tyreek Hill in Miami. Let's stop saying that this is a black man in America. This is a black man, Tyreek Hill in the McLaren driving down Miami, speeding past the cops where Cones is up. Those fines are double, if not triple at times. <laughs> but yeah, this is what it is to be a black man in America. It's what it is to be a black man in America. <laughs> All right, let me, let me play some other clips, right? Because that's Linear TV, ESPN, Fox Sports. They have to have those political talking points or they have to have that pundit. They have to push that narrative of this is what it is to be a black man in America. And I want to play alternative media. I want to play... Um, podcasts on YouTube and what have you, like Nightcap and like it is what it is and to give you their perspective because they kept it real they kept it real in this situation so first we're going to start with it is what it is with Cameron and Mace be honest with you, were they excessive? Yes were they, did they overdo it, knee in the back you know, wrangled them down uh, face down, etc. Yes, they were excessive, but to be honest with you and I'm not taking the police side if Tyreek would have gave them niggas his license, it probably would have been over with in, in five minutes. Yo, I got a game. I'm Tyreek Hill. Sorry about not having my seatbelt on. I got to go. That would have been that. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. Why Cameron knows this? But Tyreek Hill don't. So Cameron's a black man in America. He's being real with you. If Tyreek Hill would have gave him the license and said, my bad, I'm Tyreek Hill, I got a game, it would have been over in five minutes. But I guess, you know, Cameron is bugging, I'm bugging. But, you know, let's continue on. End of it. I mean, man, get him, knock my fucking window like that, nigga. Nigga knocking on his window. That's what I'm talking about. That's the aggression. But this is what I'm saying. Just think about sometimes, a lot of times, not just police scenarios or anything, you kill people with kindness. And and if you kill them with kindness, they can't say nothing. So if he would have just gave his license, like, look, I got a game in a minute. Could you please give me my ticket because I'm going to be late? Probably wouldn't have happened. Were they overly aggressive once the situation got out of hand, the police I'm talking about? Yes, absolutely. Knee in the back, putting his arm, they arm around his neck, et cetera. But I'm telling niggas how to avoid that. Because a lot of times we do get angry when you come up to the to uh, our window. So these niggas be, you gotta realize, these police be mad, they be aggy, they probably not getting the pay that they wanna pay. You in these foreign cars, they angry. I'm not saying that Tyreek did nothing wrong, but I'm telling black Americans, these niggas don't like when we styling. So just be careful out there. And especially, uh, you know, we got kids and nephews and cousins and nieces that's young coming up. Y'all need to just, Relax, don't argue, because nine out of ten times getting hostile with the police when you're pulled over doesn't go our way when you're a, a male or female of color. I'll, I'll take it to a little bit further. I'll say ten times out of ten times it doesn't go your way. <laughs> it doesn't go your way when you get hostile with police. But let's continue on. So then that's where he went wrong, being aggressive. No, I'm saying if you're going to be that wild, then know that when you get out the car, they're just matching your energy. They, that's what they did. You you showed a form of aggression and they just matched it. Where we're from, if, it's, if they tell you get out the car and I'm like, you know what, bro, I ain't getting out the car. <laughs> so then you know right there. 
it's like it's like being in the streets. You know, somebody say something to you, and you know you don't want smoke. You take the non-violent approach. But if you take the violent approach, when they get aggressive, can't act like you don't know what happened. You know what happened. That is straightforward. That's straightforward. You know what happened. You know what's about to happen. You know what's about to happen. You know that if you take this approach, you're going to be in this situation. But, you know, this is what it is to be a black man in America, according to ESPN and Fox Sports. But like I said, that's why I want to give credit to alternative media in this situation, right? Once we say that Tyreek Hill was the aggressor, then we can have a more nuanced conversation. But we lead with this is what it is to be a black man in America. You lose all credibility. So let's go to the next part, man, with um Nightcap, with Chad Ochocinco and Shannon Sharp. If civilians don't get any grace, then I don't think they're going to give Tyreek Hill any grace to allow him to roll his window back up to back where up. he can't have any... Lose yeah, visual, visual contact, contact with him. Even though Tyreek is in a threat in this manner. All foods, I'm assuming yeah. we have to always stick to protocol regards to who the person is. Right. But I, I would I would have I would have liked my dog understanding you got a game. You know how authority is already. You know how cops are in general. With all the situations that have gone on, countless years back to back to back to back to back, just this one time. You know, but I got a game to play, bro. Here's my here's my license, here's my registration. Get your ticket and go on about your business. Get your ticket and go on about your business. Let's lock in on the game. You feel me? But 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 cooler heads didn't prevail. Then you know your, your teammates getting into it, you know, obviously, rightfully so. But shit, hell, if I if I, if I was a teammate, I would, you know, I pull my black ass over too. What's the problem? Yeah, for sure. I, I've been in that situation. Kind of the same thing of what Cameron and Mason say, right? You you see all these videos of police having these altercations with black men. You see these videos. It's on everybody's timeline. Instead of understanding the situation, you rather, what? Man, yo, I, I do what I want, man. Yo, hit my license, man. Hit twin. Nah, you don't... You, Come on, man. I I would I would like to believe Tyreek Hill is smarter than that. I would like to believe that that he is smarter than that. I think it was more of an ego thing. I think it was more of a you in my space type of thing. I think it's more of a I'm going to this job where people paying all this money to come see me. I'm getting paid millions of dollars to do this job type of thing. And unfortunately for Tyreek Hill, that cop wasn't on that type of time. Other cops who who were there were on that type of time. They were saying, this is Tyreek Hill. That one cop, <laughs> all it takes is one cop, was really on a different type of time. But let's continue on with um, Shannon Sharp. Like I said, we got into a brawl of my teammates and they're telling us to back up because at that point in time, police got to make instant, oh, yeah. they got to yeah, make split seconds. Yeah. They like, oh, see, you have the luxury of sitting back here watching mm -hmm. it. But imagine how his antenna goes up when yes, he's sir. there. And we we'll, we we'll assume, like I said, he doesn't have that luxury. Once I lose contact with you, Ocho, I don't know if you go into the glove box. I don't know if you go into the middle yeah. box. I don't know yeah. anything. I want to maintain visual contact with you. That's why I said, you heard what I said mm -hmm. last night, and you heard me say it many, many years right. ago. My job, it, when I once I get pulled over and the police have made contact yeah. with me, my job is to get him to my car back to his police car or his motorcycle and on his way as quickly as I possibly can. I know the longer he remains there, the greater the chance is for something to yeah. escalate. Yeah. So that's what, I'm, that's what I'm saying. It's like, look, and think about this. I, and, and I want people in the chat, I want you to understand what I'm talking about. Think about how people hate on you and they don't have any power. Do you realize when that man or that female pull you over side yeah. the road, they got all with the, the power? Gun, with the badge. With the gun, with the badge. I'm not arguing with you. I, I can't, I, I, you're, 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 you're the lawyer, you're the judge, you everything. I'm going to take my chances in court. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to take my chances in court as a live yeah. person. Why is that not the conversation on television? 
And I'm pretty sure Shannon Sharp said the same thing on ESPN. Not on his own personal show, but why is that not the conversation? I'm going to take my chances in court as a live person. This is not being a black man in America. This is being irresponsible. This is being immature. This is putting your teammates in harm's way. Because when you see Calais Campbell pull up in their video, he's not speeding. You know what I'm saying? You don't see nobody else speeding as fast as Tyreek Hill was in that video. Everybody was driving calmly, slowly at the speed limit. It wasn't a speed trap. It wasn't nothing to, you know, you doing a, you going 70, then drop down to 40, nothing crazy like that in the area. This is a controlled speed area because of the stadium. And Tyreek Hill was going fast, no seatbelt. And the police officer pulled him over. It could have been so many other different things Tyreek Hill could have did. And just like what Shannon Sharp is saying, you put your window up. I don't know if you're going to your glove box. I don't know if you're going into your armrest. I don't know if you're going to anything to pull something out. I need to have a visual on you. I need to know what it is that you're doing. This is standard, regular protocol when getting pulled over by police. Don't give the police anything to assume. Let them do what they got to do and go about their business. But instead, we have to make excuses for I guess entitled athletes. This, <laughs> this, this is not what it is to be a black man in America. We need to stop with that nonsense. This is not what that is. This is what it is to be Tariq Hill. And y'all just want to keep that victim mentality because somebody is paying somebody to have that mindset to be on TV. Because this is not common sense. This is not the common sense answer. This is the answer that y'all want to push out there man i want to close on this we got to have accountability and course correction not not just paint this broad brush over a situation and not understand what the situation is about because clearly this situation was not a being black in america situation because most black men is not driving McLarens in Miami. You know what I'm saying? Most black men are not doing that. But y'all want to make that conversation to that. We're so quickly to cry victim. But what happens when the problem is actually us? When do we take ownership of the actions? When do we take the ownership of Tyreek Hill? What you did was wrong. You need to fall back. What you did was totally off bounds. How come these men on those shows can't course correct Tyreek Hill, but instead they have to coddle him? Their accountability is shot for me. I'm sorry. Their accountability is shot for me in these situations. Miss me with all of it. Miss me with all of it. But let me know how you guys feel about this in the comments, man. I appreciate your time. If you guys like this kind of content, Broken Traditions podcast, please follow me wherever you see this kind of content. Also, also, Sign up for my newsletter so I could directly contact you guys. www.brokentraditions.com or email me, Laurent at brokentraditions.com. And I could, you can sign up for the newsletter. Also, when you sign up for the newsletter, you get 10% off of any Broken Traditions merch. Um, also, we're doing a sale on Broken Traditions hoodies because it's hoodie season coming up. So you guys don't want to miss out on that sale. But yeah, man. <sighs> This is, this is something, man. This is definitely something. Tyreek Hill is not what black men in America are going through. Let's stop saying that. Let's stop saying that. Let's have a real conversation. Appreciate y'all, man. All right, man, till next time. Peace. Real Rap Ryan is signing off. All right, later. One.